My name is Adrian Grenier, and I'm a celebrity. Over the years, I've observed their general disregard and insatiable appetite for celebrity photos. But it wasn't until one night that things got totally bizarre. My name is Austin Viskadijk, and uh, I'm a paparazzo. After seeing a kid doing it, I decided to turn the cameras on the paparazzi and through this boy, try to understand them and make sense of this insane celebrity world. Hi, I'm Sarah Austin and this is Pop17. With me is Adrian Grenier of Entourage. How do you see this new culture's infatuation with social media affecting and connecting with the new citizen paparazzi? Well, you know, I guess after making this film, um, I realized that uh, there was this sense of celebrity, this absolute, this dictatorship of celebrity presence that I assumed would be infinite and forever. Um, but then I started thinking back and, you know, technology has always changed the meaning of celebrity and the role of celebrity in, in our culture. Before, before television, before films even, uh, celebrity was a, a very different thing. Uh, and, you know, in order to get your message out, the only celebrities were, you know, uh, maybe leaders, public, public figures, um, presidents, whose, whose reach expanded only as much as somebody could write it down and pass it out via the printing press or word of mouth. Um, but because of film and, and now television and the Internet, it's, it's changed. Yeah, so with all this technology being so accessible, would you say that the market is then oversaturated with all of these Perez Hiltons of the world? And will that structure, that business model work in the long run? Yeah, I think definitely the power structure has been broken apart. So there's been, a, obviously everyone knows, a democratization of sorts so that everybody has a voice. Um, but again, P Perez Hilton was created by that voice, by the internet, by the tools that he had at his ready in his apartment. So um, I think the, the nature of celebrity is going to change and as it has always changed and will always be evolving. Um, and I don't know what it will be, but it's not going to be the way it, it, it was or the way it is, is now even. Right, so Perez Hilton, he is a perfect example of how somebody is using new media and being empowered by it. But for celebrities, do you think that social media is going to help or hurt them? It can help, it can hurt them. But at the same time, as, as much as they're um, using it as a, as a tool of empowerment, they're also, they're also vying for the attention on the same playing field with everybody else. Suddenly, celebrities, conventional celebrities, have to, you know, fight just as hard as, as any, anybody else to, to, to keep their fans and, and they have to, you know, use the tools that everyone else is using. Leading into what you're saying, for example, Kim Kardashian, she can take a picture of herself on her TwitPic, post it, and then E! Entertainment News can pull that and put it on the news. So they don't need the paparazzi as the middleman. Do you think that this is disrupting the business model? Well, it's true. Uh, you know, I, I think the paparazzi industry and I think tab the tabloid industry is, is, is on the outs, as we know it, I think, personally. Um, my prediction. <laughs> um, and I'm hoping that my movie, dare I say it, my, my film, Teenage Paparazzo, will mark the end of paparazzi or the end of tabloid, as we know it. 